Johnny. Four weeks. 20 papers, that's $2 plus tip. Uh, gee, Johnny, I don't have a dime. Sorry. Didn't ask for a dime. $2. Well, uh, it's funny. See, my mom had to leave early to take my, my brother to school and my dad to work because... $2. Cash. See, the problem here is, is that my little brother this morning he got his arm caught in the microwave and, and uh, my grandmother dropped acid and she freaked out and hijacked a school bus full of penguins. So it's kind of a family crisis. So come back later. Great. All right, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Real Movie News. My name's Kevin. I'm John. And today we're talking about something that's near and dear to my heart. I'd like to think uh, there's an article that was put out by Forbes that was well, there was first there was an original article, and then this is the follow up article. So originally there was a, you know, a statement or a rumor going around that Disney was canceling uh, their 4K Blu-ray catalog. Uh, I am a big, big advocate for physical media. So as soon as I heard that, you bet I like almost flipped my desk over. I was bugging <laughs> out. I was not happy. Um, then this article came out. Uh, Forbes followed up with it. So I just want to go over it with you guys, and then I want to give you some thoughts. So uh, Disney is formally denies that it's ditching its 4K Blu-ray catalog of releases. Uh, for the past few years, a uh, few days, AV websites and forums have been awash with rumors suggesting that Disney has gone so cold on the 4K Blu-ray disc format that it's no longer intending to produce 4K Blu-rays. For the vast majority of its massive back catalog of movies, including both live-action titles from its own archives and all catalog movies it's secured through its purchase of 20th Century Fox. Um, they asked Disney to comment. Uh, Disney said there are no plans to discontinue releases in a particular format. Uh, we evaluate each release on a case-by-case -case basis and pursue the best strategy to bring our content into consumers' home across platforms and meet a variety of demands. Uh, the article then, you know, goes into some of the more interesting, you know, thoughts and whatnot, uh, you know, about Blu-ray, 4K, uh, things that deserve, you know, the 4K treatment. Um, but that really, that really got me thinking. So as a current owner of over 1800 pieces of media, I'm not happy by the, the sentiment that that, that, that conversation even happened. Um, a lot of people think that you can just stream high definition, right? A lot of us are under the assumption when you rent a movie or you watch something on Netflix that says it's 4K and it's in the best definition possible, people are like, oh, it must be the same as the disc. Uh, it's not. It's not. Physical media plays better physically. When you put a disc in, it reads the disc at a higher frame rate and you experience that media to the best capacity that you can. Streaming can never, unless somehow America puts in, you know, the, the best optic you know platform whatever you know bit rate everything they get they'll never be able to match a physical 4k release so i want to be able to experience you know old movies and these back catalog movies in the highest quality possible so for disney to say or potentially the rumor to start that they're not doing that that deeply terrifies me uh john talk to the people at home so you're also a uh, large collector as well of fine <laughs> media <laughs> Yes, like, I mean, I would say I probably have at least a thousand things of media. Yeah. Just from different things. And just the fact of, not only the fact of owning these, these pieces, but also the fact of you can watch them whenever you want. You can do whatever you want with them. You can, you also get in these packaging things that you don't get on like Netflix for certain movies or on Disney plus you don't get like the special features, mm -hmm. which is some, some amazing stuff right. comes out of these special features. Right. So there are some times when we'll buy a 4k movie mm -hmm. for the special features alone. Mm -hmm. Even if I didn't like the movie, cause I know mm -hmm. that some of the four, some of the special features that are in these things mm -hmm. are absolutely like maybe some of them are like two hours long. Right. And they're amazing things to watch. Mm -hmm. And it makes people who enjoy film, love film, and even things that you just... I feel like it feels better always to be able to own a piece of... Own something. Right. Than to rely on a, another big brother, say, company mm -hmm. to, to, to determine 
what you watch and how you're able to watch it. You know what I'm saying? And I think, you know, the thing that even scares me more than, yes, there's the arguments there, 100%, that streaming platforms will, there's going to be a thousand streaming platforms, which it's kind of evolving into that. You know, we moved away from streaming in the first place. We moved away from cable in the first place because it was so expensive to go to these cheaper streaming platforms. Now it seems like cable you know, those channels are finding, well, I, we, why don't we just open our own streaming service? And now we're going to end up paying the same amount that we were paying for cable to pay for the actual streaming service. That even being said, my biggest thing, my biggest issue with this is I know 4k isn't the most adopted platform right now. Uh, you can argue there's probably a higher chance between just DVD and Blu-ray alone. Even digital is probably pretty, I think 4k might be in the minority. I would say as far as people who really truly adopt that platform, my thing is some of these movies deserve to be restored at the highest quality possible. If not just for the new fans, old fans, new fans alone, just for historic purposes, I think we need to be able to see these movies the best way possible. You know, like for example, this, this article brings up aliens. Now alien got a 4k treatment, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. Stunning movie. It's beautiful. It looks better than it ever could. Aliens is arguably even on the same footing as being one of the best sequels ever made still has no 4k release. Now having the knowledge that it may be coming, I'm, I'm fine with that, but to know that potentially that it may not have that restoration, you know, that that's a sad thing. I think it's more sad to culture and that people won't be able to experience something at the highest quality possible. I think, you know, filmmakers and, and those alike deserve to have something and view something in the best quality you know, just to see their work. I think that their work needs to be portrayed that way. Well, yeah, I feel like you also get, you get more out of a movie too, watching it in 4k. Cause you get to see things that like a lot of directors wanted you to see more clearly and stuff. And you get to see certain things in a better lighting and you get to understand more of like how, when they're making movies, how they're mm -hmm. coming at it through a whole different lens. than maybe you're seeing, if you're just, what like oh you came across it on netflix one day you know right right and it's just like i said i i would i would be really i would be sad to, to say the least that you know we're not going to be able to experience some of the some of these landmark fox films in general i mean disney catalog is what it is i mean there's some movies that still need to be on blu-ray rightfully restored let alone 4k but the fox <laughs> catalog has some instant classics that I haven't even seen for like fight club uh aliens things like that movies that uh, the abyss actually another james cameron movie which is one of his earlier films instant classic it's blu-ray release is hard enough to find if we don't get a 4k release then you know we're not even going to see the quality of that film i just i i know i i, I can appreciate what they're saying in this article disney addressed it and said you know we review it as a case-by-case -case basis which i'm okay with you know i understand not all movies deserve a restoration or the investment usually well, it is a it is a pricey process and for those who don't know restoring a movie or any kind of scan or a film if you don't have the original film it's very hard to restore that that feature it becomes a very arduous process i mean look at star wars uh, star wars went from a blu-ray to a 4k restoration uh, from a dvd transfer uh you know there's more experts than i at this process but you know right now i think we have the best looking quality we possibly can without having the original scans and it was expensive but again like a franchise like star wars that makes sense you're gonna have people that are gonna go out of their way and buy it maybe for someone even the abyss you can argue which people are clamoring for that's such a small minority that Disney's like, well, why would I waste the money putting that on 4k? If I'm only going to sell a small quality when, you know, our Blu-rays are doing just fine, especially for their Disney films, right? Like, uh, for example, the Marvel movies, I would be interested to see the statistics maybe on how they do Blu-ray versus 4k. I'd be interested to see the, the numbers between the two sellers. Well, my thing is too, even if they just did like what they done with a lot of the disney movies where they have them out for a limited time mm -hmm. or do a limited number of copies or something and do it that way mm -hmm. then you're then you're still gonna sell these movies right i don't think that you're they're gonna make a lot of these movies that they're gonna make that they render to 4k right then i don't think a lot of them are gonna sit around yeah 
no. And I feel, I think even my big, and again, my huge fear, like I said, is the historical significance. And then what's to stop the end of physical media at that point, right? What's to stop just physical Blu-ray releases? Who's to say at that point, well, why are we putting this on Blu-ray? We got a streaming service. Uh, let's just stream it. I mean, we're starting to see that with video games now too, where, you know, physical editions are, you know, few and some, a lot of the indie developers put their movies just out on digital and you never get a physical copy. Uh, what's to stop independent movie makers just streaming and not getting these physical releases and then the big budget following suit where, Oh, we'll just get our streaming service. And then you'll have that movie, you know, I mean, you can't physically own it, but you can sure as hell rent it from us for nine ninety nine a month. Yeah. Know? And then they take it away after four months or right. something. Well, Disney was famous for that. Disney made their whole, that was their whole strategy for years was the Disney vault until they made their streaming platform. Uh, when I used to work in retail, that was the biggest thing. I remember when they first started that uh, people were going nuts for getting like Pinocchio and 101 Dalmatians. Uh, now, they're, they're pretty reasonable to get, I think, for the most part. I mean, I have the collection, so <laughs> whatever. I guess, not, <laughs> not to be that guy, but, you know, I have them all. But at the same time, you know, it's, it's all on the streaming service. But, again, to own it, to own that piece of history, I think, is more... Is, there's more stake in that, and I hope we don't see the end of that. I, I really hope that even if we cancel 4K for some reason, if that gets stopped, I hope it doesn't lead to the downfall of the physical media industry, which I, I do see that potentially happening i do yeah which is also sad because you lose so much like no matter what movies no matter what when these movies come out Mm -hmm. you they come out as in their cut form it's always cool to look back and see how like even like some movies that have director's cuts Mm -hmm. or directors like talking into the movie right those are still interesting to watch and if you don't have these blu-rays or 4ks anymore and you don't get to see that and i feel like that takes away a part of a movie experience too yeah that you'll lose out on if no you do i mean you know growing up we streaming had the, services take over you know we had the putting the vhs in and watching the movie i'm still doing the same thing now with just a with a disc i just changed my media a little bit um again i just i really hope this isn't the end um only time will tell you know we're, we're at that point where i don't know what's going to happen but I think this is, I think we've dodged a bullet maybe for right now, but who's to say, you know, this climate's changed a lot of things. And I think physical media, like we talked about in the previous video that we put out where we discussed, you know, the movie theater movement right now, I think physical media is moving in that direction too. I think eventually you're just going to have everything digitally and uh, physical media won't be a thing. Unfortunately. Well, I also, I think that's going to going to happen too. Yeah. But then I think, down the road from after that happens, people are going to realize how important it is to own some of these movies too. Yeah. How they, they won't be able to get once, them. That'll be once, the problem. Yeah, once they're gone, mm-hmm. then people are going to be like, well, they're going to start trying to look for them and they're going to be all gone. They're going to be like, well, but I really wanted to watch, say that season of game of Thrones or something or yeah. anything like that. They're going to be gone. And you're going to be like, well, now I can't because well, let me put it, it this way. This platform. Let me put it this way. I'm not putting my Disney movies on eBay anytime soon. So sorry, guys. You know, if you <laughs> lose the right to buy them and you don't want to pay for streaming, uh, guess you're out of luck. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, we want to know what you guys think. Uh, let us know in the comments below. Uh, do you love physical media? Do you hate physical media? Are you a are you a filthy pirate on the high seas? Are you you know are you doing digital content only? Uh, does 4K not matter to you? Uh, are you fine with just a simple Blu-ray? Hell, are you fine with a DVD copy? I really want to know. I'm curious to see what people think. I really want to get like I want to get like a you know a sample Discussion size from going. people. I want to know. I want to know what you're thinking. Uh, yeah. Make sure and let us know on Twitter. Follow us on Twitter. We got our tags right there. Uh, or are you a collector? Yeah, if you're a collector. Show off your collection. <laughs> hey, post your collection on Twitter. I'd like to see it. You show, yeah. me, you show me yours, I'll show you mine. <laughs> and we'll do it that way. Uh, but again, check us out on The Real Movie Guys on YouTube. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, we do a lot of reviews. Um, we're trying out this new news, this real news segment. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you got some topics you want us to talk about, um, hey, throw me the article, throw me the topic. We'll see what we can do for you. But anyway, my name's Kevin. He's John. We are The Real Movie Guys. Real guys, real movies, real thoughts. Thanks for joining Real News today. We'll see you next time. See you.